Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. The people ruling the world are given 6,000 years. And at the end of 6,000 years is my time, forever. My time becomes your time. So you need to know what time it is. So you can get your house in order. Your house is your head. Your house is your mind. Your house is your life. Your house is your character. Your house is your will. Along with the house of Israel. Welcome to the truth. To perfect you free. I'd like to testify to you that all so-called black people of America are Hebrew Israelites. Whether you know it, believe it, or not, you are still God, children of the Most High, Yahweh, chosen to be the ruler forever. Whether you accept that or not, that is still Yahweh's choice. In this speech, I have been making it rather clear to you that it's all about rulership. A miracle is taking place in America and the world. We are waking up. The wonderful world of Yahweh, the kingdom of Yahweh, is indeed at hand. Turn to Matthew 3, 2. And saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Kingdom of man is at hand. <laughs> These words have been in the book for quite some time. But at some point in history and time, these words are fulfilled. Looking at the rulership of the world and the condition of the world today, it is quite clear that the God of hell is ruling. War everywhere. Chaos. Confusion. All over the planet Earth, hunger, deprivation, degeneration, depravity, base men in high places, all over the earth, rumors of war, all over the earth, disease, disease, sickness. All over the earth, plague, man's inhumanity to man, all over the earth, wickedness continually in the minds of people, all the day long. They ride up and down the freeways, they create highways to drive fast looking for evil. <laughs> People fly from one end of the world looking for evil to get into. If they hear debauchery, is in New Orleans, Mardi Gras, and they hear all kinds of crazy activity, wicked activity, they buy a ticket a year in advance, book a reservation in the hotel a year in advance to go put on a disguise 
And that's out there wicked, evil thing. They go from one dark spot to another dark spot. They call it the club. As long as they stay open, they're out there running to them. And everything that's destructive is going on inside. Smoke, drugs, alcohol, adultery, fornication. And everybody looking for something. Even you know who's ruling this world. They have a lot of names for him. Prince of Darkness, Old Dragon, Old Serpent, Satan, the Devil, the Wicked One, the Man of Sin, the Man of Perdition. He's very slick. He has on all those names. And he traveled throughout the earth to see the whole world and caused the world to think of good and evil. And to think good and evil. Where? Let's go to Isaiah 520. Find out I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. I'm the book. Sometimes I'm in such a hurry. We don't stop and look at it, but if you want to stop at any point, I can prove I'm in the book anywhere along the way. Every word I prove to you is coming right from the scripture. It's all our talk. Is it five what? Read. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Read on, woe. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Read on, woe. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. If you want to stay strong, you better not mix that strong stuff up. <laughs> and you better be cool toward wine. You yeah, see, wine is, a, is, is allowed in our history. But if you become a drunkard, it's also our history has a message for you. You also get to die. We don't want which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. That's the kind of world we live in. Calling, can you imagine calling evil? Good? People are on television all the time, are in newspaper ads, on magazines, uh, demonstrating that they believe evil is good. Evil, good. Call evil, good. I like cigarettes. I walk a mile for a cat. <laughs> you smoke enough of them, you don't need a camel to go the mile. <laughs> Men openly support evil today and tell you how they enjoy it. And they invite you. They can't force you to do it, but they invite you to do it. Come on and try it. Eat this shrimp. Good. See? You always say it's an abomination, but there are men who tell you it tastes good. Come and try this S. Kruger. That's a little slick name for snail. It's cargo, it's cargot, whatever you want to call it. I believe in calling them snail. 
That's what they are. See, the wicked dress the stuff up, that's an abomination, dress it all up and give it a, a foreign name in another language. You won't call it snail in the language you speak. What is that, French? Yeah, they named the snail, give him a French name on the menu. You speak English, so you don't know what you're asking for. Uh, you want to be like white folks so bad. Uh, uh, give me some ass talk, girl. <laughs> See, when you really face what it is, if you don't know Yahweh's law, your common sense says, ooh. <laughs> this is what happens when you call evil good. This kingdom that we've been living in is an evil kingdom. The world of rulership that we have been living under is an evil rulership. And I don't think any of you will argue that point. But we have been made to like it. So we'll vote for an evil candidate. Anytime you vote for an evil man to be president, you must love evil. The reason I know some people love evil because they say these words. So why do you vote for him? He was a lesser of two evils. Yo, can you imagine being reduced to a mind or mentality of choosing the less of two evils? No matter how you think it, evil is evil. My goodness. Then you turn around and complain about your mistreatment and oppression under this lesser evil rulership. You faced up front. He was evil. Vote for a man because someone says, he's done more for our people than the other one. I mean, analyze that. You vote for somebody that did more. How much was more? He spoke kindly to you people. You understand terminology like that? You people. You vote for someone that refers to you as you people. Sounds condescending to me. Tells you what you're going to get. You people. <laughs> Tell me what you people are going to get. And you're never disappointed in it. You get it. Before we really look at Matthew 3, 2, I want you to look at what you're in. An evil empire. And you need the force to be with you. Yahweh's force. The force of Yahweh to be with you. You need a close encounter of some kind. Da, 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 da. You need something going on. See, somebody got a rise out of that, and some folks didn't get none, but I guess it depends on your sensitivity, right? <laughs> you need a close encounter with Yahweh, then Yahweh, to understand what you really in. You're living under an evil empire. And I've been raised up among you in evil. But I have rejected evil. Totally. 
some people come up on the evil and succumb. But I saw everything you saw. And I reject the evil. Totally. That makes me different from a lot of people. And every one of you that is now in the process of rejecting evil, you too are different. You're my kind of evil. Greetings, Royal Family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe, the University of Yahweh. It is here where students, parents, adults, and teachers study the divine mind of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles, enabling their minds to focus and think on an extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's minds to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts, making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yudhe Wafe. Shalom, Royal Family. Thank you.